Hello guys, my name is Sola and today I'll be telling you how to figure out your damage in Hypixel Skyblock. Let's get started. So with this new code, you can easily figure out the damage between swords and armor. You can prove that it is possible for strong dragon armor to do more damage than superior dragon armor, that the Reaper Scythe basically never beats the 50 more Midas sword in pure damage, and also you can ponder about how to do 1 million damage and like how to like reasonably get there, and also like whether you want to get a lot more talismans or like you want to get a better sword. <laughs> So once you put in all your numbers, you can just click on run and it'll input your regular damage, your critical damage, and your average damage. So if you have a bow, then your regular damage is how much you regularly do, and your critical damage is how much you do if the bow is fully charged. Okay, so here you put the sword damage. So right now I put 280 into it, and it also includes hot potato books and also reforges. Here is the sword strength. So this is where you put your sword strength. It's basically the same thing. So here's where you put your sword crit damage. You put your reforges and also the critical enchantment in here. This is your sword crit chance. This includes reforges. So this is where you put your strength. So this is your strength without holding anything, which includes your sword or bow. You can add armor, potions, etc. if you want to find the damage with those items. So your crit damage and your crit chance is the same thing as your strength. So this is where you put your combat level in. So basically since for every combat level, you gain 4% more damage. So here's where you put your sword specialty. For example, if you have an undead sword, put in one for the sword specialty, you find the damage against zombies. So this is where you put your enchant factor. So if you have first strike four and sharpness six, you put in 1.3 for the enchant factor and that will be the damage for the first hit. So this is for your additional factor. So for example, if you want to find the damage with the elegant tuxedo suit, you put in 1.5 for the additional factor. So now you can just put in the numbers and get the damage you will do with a better sword or just the sword you have right now. And you can start seeing whether you want to get like strong dragon armor or a better sword or more talismans. Okay, so I'm going to go into the coding now, so you don't have to watch this part if you don't want to, unless you're interested in the coding. So for this first line, this is just making everything simpler for me, so I don't have to write sword crit chance plus your crit chance all the time. So damage equals sword plus damage plus 5, strength equals sword strength plus your strength. So I'm basically just combining the sword stats and your stats to make it easier. Then Hypixel Skyblock, even if you have more than 100 crit chance, it still only works as if you only have 100 crit chance. So that's why if you have a higher than 100 crit chance, it automatically sets it to 100. So this is where you calculate your raw damage. So basically here is where you calculate how much damage you do when it's not a critical hit. Raw damage equals math.floor. So the math.floor is just basically making it an integer because you don't do decimals of damage in high pixel skyblock. Damage plus strength divided by 5 times 1 plus strength divided by 100. So that's the damage formula. And then times sword specialty plus enchant factor plus additional factor plus combat level divided by 25 plus 1. So this is where you put all your factors in. The sword specialty is like if you do 2 times more damage to zombies. And the enchant factor is the enchantments and the additional factors like tuxedo suit. And the combat level divided by 25 is because for each combat level you do 4% more damage. And then plus 1 because you start off with a 100% not 0% because if all the factors were 0 then you'd actually be doing 0 damage. Because if there wasn't a plus 1 then if all the factors are 0 then you would be doing 0 damage instead of whatever damage you would be doing. So the critical damage is basically just where I calculate the critical damage so it's just raw damage times the crit damage. And here is where you put your average damage. So it just finds the average of all the percentages of you getting a critical hit. So this is where crit chance actually becomes useful because the higher crit chance you have, the higher chance of a critical damage, meaning it's more of a factor in the average damage. Crit damage times crit chance divided by 100 plus raw damage times one minus crit chance divided by 100. So the reason raw damage is multiplied by one minus crit chance divided by 100 
is because the raw damage is when it's not a critical hit, and the critical damage is when it is a critical hit. So this is where you actually print your answers. So it prints regular damage, and then it outputs the raw damage, and then it says print critical damage, and it prints the critical damage, and print average damage, and it just prints the average damage. So for example, I'm going to do a pigment sword versus the aspect of the dragon. So let's say you have 200 strength and also 200 crit damage regularly. So let's change it to 200. And let's say your crit chance is 80, so specialty 0, enchant factor 1.25, additional factor 0. And also let's say the sword crit chance. So let's compare the damage, so 225. 100 strength, so I'm doing the aspect of the dragons right now. And also 100 crit damage and 1 crit chance because of the spicy and the critical enchantment. So let's calculate the damage. It's 13,726. So now let's change the numbers to be for the pigment sword, so 200. Um, sword crit damage is 130 and the crit chance is 6%. Okay, so now let's just put in the one. It's 14,391. So this time, the pigment sword actually did more damage. But sometimes you want more reliability, and that's when the aspect of the dragon is more useful. Sometimes the aspect of the dragon does more average damage, but this time the pigment sword did more damage. So now I'm going to compare the Reaper Scythe and the 50 mil Midas sword. So if you have uh, these swords, you probably have good uh, base stats. So I'm just going to do 400 strength and 400 crit damage and 100% crit chance. And also the enchant factor is going to be 1.3 because you'll probably have sharpness six and that kind of stuff. And the additional factor will be zero because you probably don't have the uh, elegant tuxedo suit. So let's make the sword damage 280. I'm also gonna do the hot potato book, so 130. So crit damage is 100 and crit chance one. Okay, so let's calculate the damage. It's 50,988. Now let's put the Reaper Scythe in. So 343, 10 strength. Okay, so now let's put the numbers in. It's 45,390. So this is probably going to be the final test. I'm going to do the strong dragon armor versus the superior dragon armor. So for both of the swords, they're going to be holding Aspera Dragons. So the strong dragon armor gives you 100 strength. So let's add 100 strength to this. Make it 300 and see what happens. It's 18,340. And now let's change the stats for a superior dragon armor. So 240, um, 240 crit damage, and also 88 crit chance. And also we can't forget that we have to multiply all the stats by 5%. Let's just go here. Damage equals this times 1.05 and do the same thing for all these. Okay, so let's find the damage. So one, it's 21,390. So for these stats, Superior Dragon Armor does more damage. Okay, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you can use the code. The link is in the description. And yeah, please like and subscribe and bye!